In this video, we're going to look at infinite scrolling with Turbo. So I have a list of all the videos on the Rapid Ruby site and it's far too long. So I want to basically paginate these and I think just have it load more as you scroll down the page. So I've already installed Kaminari, which is a gem for helping with pagination. Um, I've just added that to the gem file. It's as easy as that. And if we go across to our index here, you'll see where we load our videos. We've got video scope and we can just paste onto the end of that uh, dot page, pass in a page, which we're fetching from params and then call dot per to say how many per page. So if I save this and go back to the site and load, you'll see now we only load in five videos and we want to scroll down to load more. So we're going to do this using turbo streams. And if I go to our index page here, you'll see that we render a partial lessons items and pass in the videos. So if we look at that items partial, all we do is loop over the videos and render a list item for each one. So what we want to do is render this basically for page two. So if we go to our controller here, and I'm just going to paste in if our page is greater than one, we want to render a turbo stream and we want to append this to the video list target, which is video list. And we have an ID on that here. So it'll just insert more videos into this list item. And to do that, we are using some, uh, stimulus so i've already set this up because it's reasonably complicated so it has a connect and on connect sets page to one data fetching to false and we see this use intersection helper so this comes from a great library called stimulus use and you can see here use intersection basically allows it to detect when this element is in the DOM or not. So we're going to add this element at the bottom of our list so that as we scroll down and it becomes visible in the DOM, we're then going to get this appear method called. And then it's this that we're going to hook into to load all of our data. So the next thing that we've installed is Rails Request JS which is basically a helper library for calling Rails methods. And it has like built-in support that you can say response kind is turbo stream and it will handle all the turbo stream code for you and make sure that that gets executed. So we call a, a URL and we pass in the page, which we've incremented. So it starts on page one. So the first time this is called, it's going to be page two and three and so on. And then we pass in a turbo target, which is a list ID value. So um, that just basically makes this reusable. So we don't wanna hard code anything in here because we might wanna use this load more controller on other pages in the future. So as you can see here, we have our values. So we take a list ID and a URL. And if we go into our index page, I am just going to paste in uh, the code for this. So um, we're going to put this just below our list, uh, just below our list element and hit save. So this just loads that load more controller. Um, we pass in our videos list ID and then we pass in our URL as lessons path. So if we save this and go back and reload, as we start to scroll down the page, it starts calling off and requesting these pages, which is good. Um, there's just one more problem, which is if we look at our network inspector and we scroll up and down, it doesn't know when to stop. So it keeps requesting. Now it's not loading any additional videos in because there's none on the pages it's looking for. So if we go here, uh, it's looking for page eight 
and there's no results on page yet but um, we can basically go to our items and we'll paste in a new piece of code here that just says if we're on the last page let's also add a list item for data no more results and then as you can see in our load more controller we call this has no more results item which just looks inside our list for data no more results and if it finds that it's just going to short circuit here and stop requesting data so if we go back to our page now and reload and I'll just clear this out so as you can see we scroll down and we get five pages of data and we can keep scrolling up and down we don't load anymore because we've got that no more results item in place so that's the best approach I've seen so far to doing infinite scroll using turbo um, I've seen other approaches using turbo frames and there's usually a bit of jankiness involved with turbo's cache and pressing the back button and stuff so um, I think turbo streams are the best way to do this so if you want to see more hotwire content like this uh, please subscribe to the channel thanks